What's up everybody, it's Jimmy with Switcher Studio. Today we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to install Snap Camera on your Mac and how to use SwitcherCast to bring it in as a source in Switcher Studio. Let's check it out. So Snapchat is obviously a popular social media platform. It's been made famous by all of the filters and lenses that you can use. So you can have like a rainbow puke coming out of your mouth. You can have a donut halo. There's all sorts of different uh, gaming applications that have all sorts of layers that you can add on yourself so that you just look goofy. It, you look really funny with them on, honestly. That's what it comes down to. You just look weird. It's, it's just funny. But now Snapchat has released a brand new standalone application that lives on your computer so you can take your webcam that's attached to your laptop, for example, and then you can use those lenses in all sorts of different applications. So today let's install Snap Camera on my computer right here and we'll bring it in as a source in Switcher Studio using SwitcherCast. So to install Snap Camera, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to snapcamera.snapchat.com. I'll put it right here on the screen so that you can see it. Go there and go ahead and choose the download option. It's gonna ask you a few questions. You're gonna read through a little bit of documentation and then you're just gonna choose download. So once Snap Camera's downloaded, just go ahead and open up the installer and install that bad boy. It's really simple. It actually goes quite fast. It's not a huge file. And what it's gonna do is, and it's done. That was fast. Okay, and once Snap Camera finishes installing, all you need to do is launch it on your computer. So I'm just gonna search for Snap Camera. And here we go, it's launching. I got the green light and hey, there it is. I've got Snap Camera. It's my FaceTime HD camera here on my MacBook and I've got this whole list of all sorts of lenses I can use. Oh, you gotta go for the dog one, right? All right, open your, aha. Uh -huh. Let's see, we've got stuff falling from the sky. These are ridiculous. I don't even play this game. I don't, I don't even know what this is from. I have no idea. Nope, no clue. I think the cool thing about this one is if you move your eyebrows, it opens for you. So we just go, and you wanna close it, you just do it again. Pretty cool. And I know some of you are looking at it right now going, ah, this is very confusing. It's flipped around. It's definitely backwards. Is it gonna show up backwards in my actual video when I use this? Well, no, if you go over here to the settings and you choose uh, flip preview, just turn that off. And then if we go back, we can look and we can see that everything's normal. And actually when it goes into our sources, it looks normal and it looks totally fine. I'm just out of the loop with games. I just don't. I just don't play the, oh yeah, we get this. Okay, I don't, I have no idea what this is from. I just don't know what's the, I gotta get with it. What's cool about these is you can turn them on and off. So if, you, if you'd like, you can kind of, if you wanna turn one on briefly, you can flip it on and then you can talk with it. You just click on it one more time and then it'll disappear and it'll go away. So um, these, it makes it really easy to just kind of turn them on and off. You can just have control over it and it's really great here to do that. So all of these different lenses and filters are now available right here inside of my computer and any applications that I want to use the snap camera with, all I have to do is go set the camera input as snap camera. So I think one of the easiest ways to see this in action and see how it actually affects the different sources on your computer is to just open up a native application we're all used to using on a Mac and that's photo booth. So if I, if I just go over to photo booth right now, um, I'll open that up, we're all used to it using the regular FaceTime HD cam, but in, in photo booth what you can see is if we go up here to the camera selection, now we've got another option for a different camera that's attached to our computer and it's called Snap Camera. It's like the virtual camera inside. So if I switch this now to Snap Camera, so now you can see Photo Booth is now seeing my camera as this Snap Camera. Speaking of sources, let's bring this over into Switcher Studio. So I've got Snap Camera installed. I've got it launched and it's open right now. The next thing I need is SwitcherCast. If you don't have SwitcherCast installed yet, just go on to the Apple App Store and type switcher space cast and download that application. It allows you to cast your screen or any cameras that are attached to your Mac into Switcher Studio as a source. It's a really great utility and it works great with Snap Camera. What I'm gonna do is just launch Switcher Cast on this machine. So I've got it rolling now and it's live. And if we look over at the iPad that I've got right here, we'll notice that those sources show up immediately inside of Switcher Studio. I've got the display, I've got the actual FaceTime HD camera unaffected, and then I've got a second one there that says Snap Camera. 
So if I choose snap camera on this device, you'll see that I've got the virtual snap camera that's on my computer. It's now a source in Switcher Studio. And it's awesome, I can change the filters around, I can switch them to different things like the googly eyes if I want, and that can be another source in Switcher. So this really opens up new possibilities. Another cool thing about Snap Camera is there is an extension you can install using Twitch so that if you're using a particular lens, you can let your Twitch viewers know exactly which lens you're using through the extension and through the Snap Camera application. So uh, the way you do it, there's an icon right there at the top of Snap Camera, and if you just click on it, it'll take you in there to your Twitch extension settings. If you wanna learn more about it, you just go through the process and you install all the extension using Twitch. What's pretty cool about this is whenever using a particular filter using Snap Camera, people can see exactly which lens you're using. So for example, if I switch to another lens, as soon as I switch to the other lens, we start to see right there on my Twitch feed the exact lens that I've got. You can scan it if you want, you can click on it. So there's gonna be some pretty cool integrations between Twitch and Snap Camera. This is pretty interesting. And right now my screen is getting so deeply meta with deeper and deeper, it's like going into the past. So that's just a quick overview of how to use Snap Camera with Switcher Studio. Snap Camera looks like it's gonna be a really cool tool to really enhance your streaming, especially if you're doing gaming, or if you just wanna add another creative layer as a source using Switcher Studio to have a second camera that's got something different on it. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Please remember to subscribe down below. We're trying to get way more subscribers by the end of the year and you can help us do that. Also check us out on facebook.com slash switcherstudio and we will see you next time.